Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Acer Predator Helios Neo 16PHN 1672. To open this machine, you have to undo 10 Torx head screws. Lift the rear side by carefully raising it while holding firmly the two plastic exhausts on the back. You can also lift the two areas one by one. Don't push too hard. The panel has to be fully popped to the level of the LAN port. Use a thin plastic tool to pry the rest of the sides and the front. On the inside of the bottom plate, there are two metal plates with thermal pads for the SSDs. The device has a 90 watt hour battery. To take it out, pull out the connector from the motherboard and undo the two Phillips head screws that fix the unit to the base. The capacity is enough for 5 hours and 14 minutes of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the best power efficiency preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the Balanced and Optimus modes in the Acer Predator Sense app. The memory section is protected by a metal plate that is secured to the main board with a single Phillips head screw. You can pop the cap with a lever tool. On the inside of the shroud, we can spot two thermal pads for the RAM sticks. According to Acer, the two SODIMs can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz memory in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 192 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. We found another pair of pads below the modules. For storage upgrades, you can rely on two M.2 slots for 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. RAID 0 is also supported. The thermal system has two fans. The plastic one on the right is for the CPU, while the metal Aeroblade 3D fan on the left is dedicated to the GPU. Liquid metal has been applied on the CPU die. The cooling performance is enhanced by rectangular vector heat pipes with wider contact surfaces for greater heat transfer. Two heat pipes are shared between the processor and the graphics card. There is one additional pipe for the CPU and two more for the graphics card. The system offers four heat sinks and two large metal plates. The bigger one on the left is for the GPU and its memory and VRMs. The lower heat pipe cools the chipset. 